it is starting to become a bit crazy with the biophoton therapy. Here you see a prototype machine which you can buy in the market called the Starlight. The Starlight machine claims to use biophotons to treat and cure diseases. The analysis is comparable to the analysis of many bioresonance machines and the prototype of all, the electroacupuncture according to fall. With probes, energy biophotons are analyzed on points of meridians. Here a short explanation. It is really a quite a strange with the new phenomenon of the biophotons. If you enter the keyword biophotons in Dutch, you very quickly arrive at the site with the following claims. With the biophoton therapy, extraordinary results have been reached. One could treat, for instance, dyslexia, depression, stomach ulcera and Lyme disease and even malaria. This all is indeed quite extraordinary, especially as there are no clinical data supporting these claims. It is also astounding that these things are put on the internet. And in the same site we also read that scientific research has not been done so far. Then we ask ourselves, how is it possible that people put these claims in the internet without any clinical data? Treating patients is done with a very special machine, which has a beautiful and fantastic name, the Starlight Therapy. We have extensively read all the scientific papers on biophotons. There are no clinical papers on the relevance of biophotons. The papers which are published are all in the field of plant physiology and experimental biology. There are no papers on the influence of biophotons on clinical diseases and only a handful of papers where biophotons are measured in the human body, mostly in the human body of healthy volunteers. Furthermore, the technique is still highly experimental and most of the findings are from one research group. In science, facts has to be proven by different independent research groups and only then, slowly, slowly, the scientific ideas are becoming real-life ideas. Therefore, our foundation strongly discourages therapists to use machines like the Starlight and treat patients. And we strongly advise patients not to be treated by biophoton machines. Much research has to be done. And even if there is some truth in this story, it is my expectation that at least five to ten years of work is needed to understand exactly what we do by treating patients with biophotons. Furthermore, based on the theory of the biophotons, it is highly unlikely that this will ever be a therapeutic intervention. Currently, it is just hocus pocus or the new cloth of the emperor. This picture is used to explain how you can treat a disease with biophotons. The red vibration is a disease. The black vibration is the mirror image of this disease and this should be stored in the starlight machine. If you put the black vibration back to the body, you get an extinction of the red vibration and thus this disease would be cured. It is a very simple physics and each first year physics student could tell you that this is bloody nonsense if it's related to diseases. Diseases do not have such a simple waveform.